Oh my god. The one thing I don't understand and I've never understood is how hay fever can get into the house when you've got all the doors and windows shut. Like it makes no sense. There are some days where I wake up streaming, like sneezing non-stop, eyes are itchy, can't breathe, block nose. And it's hay fever and I'm like, how is it getting in the house? So stupid. Um, yeah, I'm struggling, struggling to function. Got my hay fever eye drops. I'm gonna take like a, a prescription pill. Yeah, I normally get the hay fever injection, which I've spoken about loads, but I'm not getting it, getting it this year. I'm gonna try not to. But um, yeah, I'm struggling, and it's not even like proper hay fever season yet. I don't think. And it's so bad in France last week. I definitely think the pollen out there is like one that gets me hard and it hasn't felt too bad coming back into the uk but man my eyes are so itchy today also got the weirdest bite on my leg i need to show you this actually i'll take my trousers off later because i've never had a bite like this before i don't think it's a mosquito bite i'm not sure what it is you guys can um diagnose me <laughs> have a date with david beckham tonight gotta be in the same room as david beckham himself so i'm like my dilemma of the day is what do i wear to an event where i i want to feel kind of fashionable and presentable um it's for his whiskey brand hake club which is so cool i like hake me and g bought a bottle of hake for my dad a couple of years ago and he really likes it as well he's been through quite a few bottles so um, I'm excited to go and try some Hague Club cocktails and um, see some people. I actually have no idea who's going to the event tonight, but David Beckham himself will be there. Oh my god, look at my avo plant. I actually thought he was dying because all these leaves fell off, but we have some beautiful big ones blooming, which is so nice. Um, yeah, his stalk is so long and all these leaves fell off, so we're just left with these ones, which probably isn't the best, but... He's still alive, which is good. Plan for today, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna edit my weekly vlog, get that all ready for tonight. And then I might go and work from the cafe today because I feel like I need to get out of the house. I'm out of the house all day tomorrow, which is gonna be really good. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit like I need to just get out. <laughs> I've also just got some tax and business shit to do as well at some point. So I might go to my local cafe and order like a green tea and write some wedding blog posts to go up because apparently we're going to be getting our wedding pictures by the end of the week which is so exciting i can't wait to share them with you guys maybe i'll do a little video if you'd like that of like my favorite pictures from the wedding or like something along those lines if there's anything you want to see let me know i just wanted to show you guys some new jewelry pieces i've been wearing and loving so there's a brand called estella bartlett and i mentioned the brand in a few a few a few oh my god i can't talk <laughs> a few vlogs back because um i just treated myself to some of her earrings and then they saw that i think and very kindly reached out and asked if i wanted to try any of their summer pieces so i had a look on their website and i actually took some of the bits away with me last week you probably saw them saw me wearing them in some of the pictures but i wanted to show you them here now also for gifts for my bridesmaids on the morning of my wedding i bought them all like a couple of like i put together a little gift bag for them and one of the things in the gift bag were a pair of earrings so i bought three pairs of helix and conch earrings for them and three pairs of estella bartlett earrings for them so yeah they got two brands that i absolutely love and that that wasn't sponsored like i did that because i wanted to treat them to a nice little jewelry so let me show you first thing i got was this gorgeous necklace i've been wearing this loads i'm gonna wear this today as well but it's just a very gold sparkly kind of like chunky beaded necklace and i also got the earrings to match i'll leave a link down below so yeah i've loved wearing these together i got oh god it's tangled with my missima one it's gorgeous and um, gold opalite stone one i don't know if you can see that but it's really really pretty like a pearly stone type of thing on a gold chain love that um these are the estella bartlett ones that i originally showed a couple of vlogs back i really like them because it looks like you're wearing a double hoop even if you've just got one piercing and then i also really loved the look of this new rainbow collection so they've got 
it, I mean, it's so dainty. Look, it's smaller than my thumb. Um, but it's a really pretty gold chain with some rainbow stones in. And I also got the earrings to match. These ones, they're, I think they're called the Constellation ones. These are the ones that I bought for my bridesmaids, but with normal kind of diamonds rather than rainbow, rainbow stones. So, yeah, I'm going to put some of these on now. I love them. They're so cute. Oh, I will also leave a link to my little travel jewellery box um, in the description box as well because I love this. Like, this is what I took with me on holiday and it kept all of my earrings in nice and safe. These are also the Helix and Conch earrings I bought my bridesmaids. I wear these ones all the time. So pretty. But yeah, I just love this case. I think it's so handy. It's got the little um, clips up there so you can hang your necklaces up. And, I mean, it doesn't look that great when it's bare, but <laughs> when it was full of my jewellery, it looked really nice. I got back from the cafe. My laptop died, and I wasn't near a plug socket, which was a little bit annoying. But I had a nice kombucha, did some work, made myself some lunch. And now I'm just about to shoot a brand job for a brand I love. Very excited. Um, but whilst I'm here in my knickers, <laughs> um, I thought I'd show you this insect bite, which has actually got worse since this morning. Oh, it's so weird. I'll put a picture in here of what it looked like like four hours ago and now it looks like this how bad is that it's huge like really big in comparison to my hand it's really big so yeah it's like properly bruising i don't really know what's going on there it's so weird vicious very vicious today to do some shopping i thought i'd take you with me we're going to be looking into some charity shops starting in oxfam my fave yeah i just thought i'd get out of the house and show you guys around walthamstow a little bit and also i need to pick up something from wilco's i thought i'd do a little bit of charity shop shopping see what's new in got my tote bag <laughs> i'm all set to go next looks like they've got some uh, wedding dresses in the window which is nice found an amazing jacket in that store but the shoulder pads were too big and it was a size large so it didn't really fit me but oh my god the color of it was so nice i want to try and find something like that that fits a bit better there's a lot of fabric and textile shops along this high street as well if you were into fashion fashion student loads of those places and markets as well this is what i've come in here for wilkinson's scrub daddy oh my god it's so good going into one of my fave charity shops now a really bad vlogger today but I got back from Walthamstow picked up some nice pieces I've actually just washed them here from the charity shop and then <laughs> Maurice we went out and met, met up with my parents because 4G's birthday <laughs> they got him a war of the world's experience which is in Liverpool Street I don't suppose any of you will be massively into war of the worlds because I think it's like it wasn't a massive thing when I was growing up, so it definitely won't be for you. But oh, that middle one's not working, babe. 
but it was really good it was like an immersive theater thing where you had to like go from room to room there was a lot of virtual reality weren't allowed to take pictures you had to like lock up your bag and phone but it was it was quite fun and then we had some nachos with my parents and now we're home and it's friday night and yesterday we received all of our wedding pictures from our uh, photographer we wanted to make a night of it where we like sit down with some popcorn and a glass of wine and like look through them all put them on the telly and like look through them all but we are so excited we're gonna look at some of them today so he took like 8,000 pictures and he's given us like over 2,000 so we've got so many pictures pictures to look through so yeah I've put them all onto a hard drive and I think we've got I've got peppermint tea and we're gonna look at our wedding pics probably not all of them maybe maybe we'll see how we feel I have to send some to Marie as well yeah. make a little album for hmm? she tried me up there for a coffee oh. and we can take it take it some pics oh yeah framed that? picture of us <laughs> <laughs> I love some. the buses in the background. Mm. He slowed down to try and um, be more fixed. Oh, That's the one. <laughs> Look at John's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's brilliant. It's got everyone's face. In yeah, it. that's so good. Oh, man. Oh, 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 amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look. Surrounded <laughs> <laughs> by boys. Oh, I love the shadow in there. Who's in? Who's done it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amazing, my God, it. that's so good. Oh, I love that he got that. That's so good. <laughs> that is such a great pick. My dad's going to love these. <laughs> Look at my bad influence. That's oh, my cool. God, we that's were cool. so nervous waiting out there. Oh, look at him! <laughs> I think it's cool in that. Did he catch Banks walking the wrong way? I hope so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> recovered. Everyone having a laugh. That's so <laughs> she looks so, look, everyone laughs. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, that's so good. I love that one because I can see Jesper looking yeah. at me to see much what everyone else is looking at you. I can't believe, why, how did you not see me? Because it's on a slope. But you're looking right at me. No, but I was low. I feel like oh. I couldn't see. Today is Saturday and we have come to meet up with our friend Motown for a bit of a walk. Um, a couple of weeks ago we did a walk around Dalston and Haggerston which I vlogged, I'll leave that up here. But today we're going for a walk a little bit like just further out, so we're at Hampton Court. I haven't been to Hampton Court Palace in such a long time but I remember as a little girl we used to go for school trips there and like wear a little bonnet and pretend we were back in the olden days. <laughs> but we're not going to go into the palace, we're just going to go for a walk around the grounds and pick up some lunch. So it'd be a really nice day and yeah I'll show you it because it might be a nice like a little day trip for some of you. Imagine living in one of these houses. Oh my god, and having a little boat and a little jetty off the back garden. Cute. I hate people, it's quite bad though, I'm not gonna lie. We are home, and my god, I'm really struggling with hay fever today i don't want to moan too much but yeah it hasn't been good it's been a bit unbearable but i've taken more pills done a nasal spray and now i'm going to jump in the shower and try and wash all this pollen off me i don't know if any of you guys get this but with hay fever i just feel so dirty like makes me feel like i'm literally covered in pollen oh no and um makes me really overheat as well like i really get hot flushes with it which is so weird so we have a shower put some pajamas on grab the duvet and settle down on the sofa for a nice evening it's like nearly six o'clock i think so it's been a very long day but and um, we didn't actually go inside hampton court palace because it was like 28 pound for an adult which is very expensive <laughs> Oh god, I can't vlog right now, I need to shower. <laughs> okay, I feel I feel like I can actually talk now. Yeah, what I was saying was we just walked on along like the Thames. 
next to Hampton Court Palace instead. And there was like, it's so weird, there's like an island of amazing houses in the middle of the Thames called like a Ditton, Thames Ditton Island or something like that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. The houses are gorgeous. And yeah, we we like Hanson Court Palace is huge. It has massive grounds and the palace and a maze and like a kids area but there was no point in us doing all that because um we we weren't gonna be out for too long. So bear that in mind if you've got to go it's quite expensive. My lips are so dry, I think because I've been rubbing my nose so much so I'm gonna get my PJs on and go on the sofa. I think we're all doing an Indian tonight, which I can't wait for. And um, I feel so much better. Clean. Sunday morning. I am looking so scraggly today. <laughs> Don't judge my lounging outfit. I've got some packages to open for the home today, and we're also doing some tidying, so I thought I'd vlog. Oh, I also want to finish my camera wall today. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I've been collecting vintage cameras for so long, like since before my photography degree. I haven't added anything new to my collection in about probably eight years. It's been a while since I bought a new one, but we decided we wanted to make a bit of a statement with it. So this is what we're doing. Put them on these shelves and I'm gonna draw with chalk around them and write the name of what it is. And it will look so cool. We saw this on Pinterest and I'm really looking forward to finishing that today. Our little TikTok will be up on the kind of makeover of this part of our living room. Big, but you can still see a lot of brick wall behind it which is really nice I can't wait to get that up 